because one crazy thing is that probably one of the biggest interview clips that we had last year was King Vaughn talking about Duck. A couple months later, Duck's gone. A couple months after that, Vaughn's gone. That's pretty fucked up. Yeah, it is. And that, that clip had all those views. Like, people were so obsessed with the, this beef between them even before they both passed. And then now you have two of the most popular Chicago rappers of the last few years both gone. How's that sit with you, just knowing that, like, you know, that this was that, – that people were that enamored by that conflict? Um, it's like – a lot, you know what I'm saying? It's with 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 Vaughn and Duck dying, you know what I'm saying? Cause you got people that was just making a mock out of you. Feel me? When mm -hmm. Duck died, like on the internet, just going crazy. Even the ops, like just on that, just saying crazy shit. And then it's like tables turning, just happened to him. Yeah. Boom. But me personally, when it happened, I wasn't like, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm finna get on here and go this era, all, this is this him. Nah, man, it's like. Cause at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? Op or not, they both put an impact on Chicago. You feel me? They both played a part in rap and drill rap or Chicago rap. You feel me? So, so yeah, we took two losses at the end of the day, but shit real. You know what I'm saying? Life too short, bro. You can't be out here living like that. Like living with no remorse. You yeah. know what I'm saying? That's, that's one thing like, Living with no remorse, boy, that shit catch up with you. Definitely. Do you um do you believe that they actually had a conversation before uh before Duck passed, or was that not true? Honestly, I don't even really know if that shit true. I never talked to Duck about it. He never talked to me about it. I don't know. I can't even tell you if that shit true. I don't know if he was trolling, cause I don't know. You know, I seen a little video when he well he said it like on he posted it. Yeah. I don't know if he was trolling or what, but I don't know. I yeah. can't even say. No, that was really confusing to me too. I'm like, is this is he trying to be funny or is this a real thing that happened? It was very kind of confusing, yeah. Man, this shit real, man. You gotta be on point out here. This shit crazy. Do you think that the Chicago, you know, fans, you think they're gonna learn anything from all that they've seen in twenty twenty? Like the rap fans, the young up the young kids in the bad neighborhoods who are fucking trying to become rappers and stuff. Do you think that this is like informative to them yeah, to some it's extent? A, it's a lot of, it's a lot of shorties that's going to learn from it, you know, and a lot of shorties that might just not, you feel me? But it's a lot of, I feel like it's more people learn from it this year though, because it was a lot of deaths. It was a lot of, with the Corona shit from just life itself was a challenge to 2020. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? For a lot of people, for everybody. But musically, shit, yeah, like losing them people and all this beef shit, all this extra shit, blocking everybody blessings from getting where they want to be. At the end of the day, I'm not sitting here saying I'm. it's a truce for me. No, you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, just be smart and smarten up how you move and what you do in the music. You know what I'm saying? With what you say and how you say it. Mm. It's like everybody don't have to know who we who you beefing with or everybody don't have to know none of that shit. Like mm. if you beefing with this nigga, don't he don't nobody have to know you beefing with him. You feel me? It is what it is. Let it leave it in the streets. Right. Yeah, that seems like it's something that gotten kind of forgotten at a certain point that people just love to air their fucking grievances out on records and shit these days, huh? Yeah. People like to tell on themselves too on records. Right. Or just social media in general. So it's <laughs> very hard for people to hold back on that at a certain point, huh? Yeah, social media is crazy. Like, social media is a part of a lot of this shit too. Like, why people die like this and why it's crazy like this. Because this shit, do you, have you paid attention to how hard it is to get your eyes out of your phone? Oh, yeah. Like, just go a day without a phone. That shit is like, boy, that shit is like death. Mm. Without a phone, I can't, I can't function without a phone. You get so addicted to this constant surge of information that it's just really, really hard for you to just go back to just being alone with your own thoughts. For real. Which is, which is a shame. And then when I notice it, that really bothers me is when I'll be playing with my kid for 20 minutes. And then I realized at the end of the 20 minutes that I'm thinking about my phone. I'm thinking about like, oh, I'm like feeling that that itch. Like I gotta look at Instagram phone, for a second. Yeah. I gotta look at Twitter real quick. Yeah. You've been looked at it. And you look at it. You realize you ain't did shit but scrolled 
and just scrolled, you would be at night just laying down till your damn neck start hurting. Scrolling. <laughs> yeah. You ever scroll so much your neck and the back just start hurting? Oh, lay yeah. down. Yeah. But yeah, that shit. And they fuck with your eyes, the phones. Mm. Like you ever looked at a phone so long, you you when you look at something else, it look blurry. Yeah. Or look at a TV after you look at their phone, you look blurry. I don't know. They putting something in these phones, man. Mm. No, definitely. Um, what do you want to do to keep Duck's name alive or to make sure that people don't forget him? All I could do is, you know, just keep pushing. You know what I'm saying? Do whatever, do what he was doing. You know what I'm saying? Do what he want me to do still. You know what I'm saying? And, and finish whatever we, 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 finish our plans of what we had, you know? Just keep going, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and just get better myself, you know what I'm saying? And, and learn from his mistakes, you feel me? Right. And, 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 and do, it, do it better, you know what I'm saying? And do better for myself, my son, my family, take care of the family the same way he was, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna do what he was, what he wanted, you know what I'm saying? That's what's gonna make him proud and keep his legacy going, you know? I'm gonna, I'm gonna scream his name as much as I can, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Because, you know what I'm saying? I, I just know, like, and he still got music that ain't been, you know what I'm saying, released. He still got an album that's going to drop, you know? Mm. We're going to keep his name lit. That's all, you know? Yeah, no, definitely. But do you ever think about the contradiction of the fact that, like, a lot of a lot of his biggest music was his most violent music? A lot of, you can say that for a lot of rappers from Chicago. That's me, too. Chicago yeah, me, too. And, right. Does that make you ever think about changing the kind of shit that you're comp you're rapping about, or or is it is it weird because you realize that you might not be able to have songs that are nearly as big if you lay off of the street shit? Mm -hmm. It's like it's like like I say, they try to keep you in this box. You feel me? And people let people control their minds. You feel me? When you get it to a point where it's like I gotta make this because this is what they want. That's you letting them control you. Mm. You need to just do whatever makes you happy. Do whatever makes you feel good. You know what I'm saying? Rather the views on your shit change, whatever it is, they gonna accept you for who you is regardless. It is what it is, you know what I'm saying? Good music is good music. Rather mm. you, cause I, I, I go through that type of shit like, I rap about some pain type shit with the melodic sound, you feel me? And do it, it be good music, you feel me? But you got some people that just, might not want to hear it. Mm -hmm. You got some people that's just, they don't want to hear that soft shit or, or you just got different type of people for different type of music, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? So, but me personally, I try to make all type of music. Like I make rap, drill music, shit. I done made reggae music, R&B music. I'm talking about, I try to do everything, you feel me? And just so I won't be in this box, you feel me? Definitely. Um, Sosa actually came out recently and said that he's done dissing his dead ops and whatnot. Do you take that seriously? Do you take anybody seriously he's from Chicago? Who if they said say that? that? Uh, Chief Keefe. Uh, um, shit, if they do say it, yeah, I'll take it serious shit because you, you said it. You feel me? And you a big name, and now your word is out there. Now if you do it again, you just looking like a fucking phony like now you just looking fake as hell like at the end of the day shit that's how i feel you feel me i ain't on that shit like I, honestly i've never been a type to mm. diss people on songs that one that's one song you go through every song i got I, I don't diss nobody right you know what i'm saying that one song me and duck did it you feel me but it is what it is it's done you can't take nothing back it is what it is but you know what i'm saying i think people be if you say it you better be serious shit you better stand on it right I mean, him as somebody who basically invented it and popularized it. I mean, maybe not invented it, but definitely popularized it. Uh, it's got to seem kind of corny after a certain point, especially when everybody's doing it now. And in particular, it I think he was corny. responding to Almighty J, who said something about it at that time. And his attitude was kind of like, say? you ain't from here. So what like, did he say? I'm not sure exactly. Smoking somebody or something, Tuka or something. He tried. I saw on the game thing he was trying to say smoking Tuka or something. See, them one of them type of niggas that don't know. You could get fucked up out here for saying shit like that. Right. You know what I'm saying? You got to be careful. Stop being so fucking dumb out here. Like, this shit real, bro. I think that's the first time I ever talked to Duck was that Lil Pump had a clip that went viral because he said he was smoking Tuka. And yeah, Duck was too. saying something you about it. Saying? I hit up Duck like, yo, like he didn't, you know, he don't really know what the fuck he's doing. Like I was, I hit him up trying to 
stop the problem at that time and i guess it worked but yeah i mean there's there's a lot of young ass kids and shit who've said and it'd shit be like, like that you say shit like that like duck may duck might have wanted to work with little pump you see what i'm saying you mm-hmm. never know it's just like why why would you say that like what if duck just go dig some shit deep up about little pump and just be like smoking woo 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 mm-hmm. smoking your family member and that little pump just like I duck doing that. You know what I'm saying? That's how we looking at it. Like, what the fuck? Like, what's wrong with you? Like, that shit is pointless. Like, you just doing this just because the next man saying it. And you know the meaning behind this shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So I just look at it like it just make niggas less of an artist to me. Like, you, sh- you shouldn't even be at the point where you at. Like, shouldn't nobody even, like, look up to you like that. Because mm. it's like, you dumb. You not even, you, you not even a man if you do shit like that. That's not being a man. Right. Me. Probably one of the weirdest like like plot twists in all this was seeing Six Nine come with hella security to Chicago and talk down about <laughs> dead people, stuff like that. Yeah. How <laughs> you feel when you see that? You say who? You checking your face out real quick. <laughs> nah, I'm just, <laughs> but man, look, I don't know. Dude as weird as him, he's I don't even want to talk about it. He might get to looking up me or something. It felt kind of sad been because... A, been told on me. He huh? did it and nobody really paid much attention. And that was kind of like, damn, like you really are at the end of your fucking career here that nobody really gives a shit about Honestly, you. Honestly... You're doing something really fucked up and nobody's really about talking about it, is, it. This is the peak. When he got came home off that shit, that was the peak of his career. Mm-hmm. But it's the worst career to have, bro. That's the worst career you can have, bro. Right. Like, I know he don't be happy. Mm. I don't give a fuck what nobody said. You can make your videos, jumping around, dancing with your lollipop hair shit. You're miserable. Yeah. You a rat. You bogus. Definitely. I'm done. I don't want to talk about him. His ass a rat. 